Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. It has been a long time since I've made my last uh, YouTube video and this uh, has uh, been delayed to say so because of the summer vacation and uh, now I'm back. Today's video it's about uh, BMW 530i 2001 E39 where uh, are we are where we are going to try to make a heat shield for the ABS uh, block, uh, ABS module, if you want to call it so. Uh, this is a known issue for the E39, um, where the ABS block sits beside the exhaust. exhaust. Um, and uh, with the time, uh, this module can get damaged because of the heat and the vibration. And uh, you will start um, having uh, problems with the uh, ABS. ABS light will come on. Uh, if you put a tester on, it will indicate that your rear left ABS sensor uh, it's uh, defective or there is no contact with it. Um, another um, uh, symptom uh, of this is uh, your speedometer will stop working, so you will not uh, be able to see anymore how fast you are driving with. Uh, so one, uh, this is one of the first symptoms uh, when you have uh, an ABS block uh, defective. Because of the rear left wheel sends uh, the signal for the speedometer, so you can see how fast your, your car is driving. Um, in some of the situations you can be lucky and it can actually be an ABS sensor that fails. Um, but this is not a common problem uh, with the E39. Uh, these ABS sensors don't tend to fail so, so often as, uh, as you may think. And usually the problem, it is the ABS block. Um, I have uh, replaced my ABS uh, block uh, on the car because of this problem. Uh, I measured uh, the cables and everything was okay and ABS was okay. The sensor itself was, was uh, okay, uh, but uh, the ABS module was uh, defective. Uh, as I could see, somebody tried before uh, me to fix this ABS sensor and it did uh, an ugly job and not so good. And um, after a while, the, the module got uh, burned or, or, or uh, it got defective because uh, I could see uh, that there is no way to fix this anymore. I will show you what uh, what uh, the module looks like now inside. Uh, it's a pretty dirty job uh, that w it was done inside the module. And uh, instead of uh, trying to um, reward the, the work somebody else did, I just prefer to buy another module and uh, to protect myself from, uh, from the next failure, uh, I decided to make a heat shield. Uh, for the ABS module. I will show you exactly where the module is situated in the, in the engine room and what is my, my plan and we are going to try to make a, a heat shield for this uh, as cheap as possible and uh, so you will be able to do this yourself in your uh, own uh, backyard to say so. So this is the, the engine bay uh, and here we have the ABS block, the ABS module. Uh, it's uh, here just beside the exhaust. Uh, here I have the exhaust uh, and if you put your hand here you will feel that it, there is a lot of heat coming out uh, from here. Uh, the module is uh, um, sitting on some brackets uh, and uh, some, some uh, uh, rubber uh, rings so it's actually trying to dampen the, the vibration uh, but in the time with all the heat that it's coming here up um, and uh, because of the vibration uh, some of the wiring inside the ABS module will uh, will get uh, broken and uh, normally you should be able to fix this problem by uh, putting some new wires inside or um, uh, fixing the one existing uh, in the module uh, but in the case of, of the module I had in my car, this was almost impossible and I will show you why. So, uh, somebody tried to fix the, the module before, this is sitting here, as you can see. 
and somebody has uh, already cut the the cover here and tried to fix it and if I can show you here you will be able to see the, the very very dirty job that he, it has been done uh, inside this, uh, this module. I don't know exactly how good is the focus of the GoPro uh, and I decided I will not try to redo the soldering and retrace all the, the wires because uh, I just had no, no time for this. I ordered a new uh, a newish, newer module. Uh, it was not so expensive and I just uh, replaced it and then I had to code the, the module to, to the car. Today uh, what I'm trying to do is to make a heat shield that will come from this downside here. So a heat shield that will raise from here and cover all this uh, this part so it doesn't uh, get so much heat from from the engine and my plan is to reuse some uh, heat shield from uh, from another car this is coming from uh, Volkswagen Passat or something like that um, and in order to be able to fix it here I will have to remodel it so it's uh, sitting tight here and in the same time I don't want it to, to vibrate and do noises like, like this while I'm driving so I will have to first I want to uh, to make it flat uh, and then remodel it after the the shape this it's an aluminium and it's very easy to bend uh, so it will be no problem to uh, um, shape it uh, to sit in place here so first we are going to uh, flatten this one I will put it uh, between two uh, pieces of wood and with the hammer I will uh, I will uh, try to make it flat. I will stop the sound uh, when I'm going to hit it with the hammer so um, mind your ears. So this is uh, as flat as I can make it with the with the tools I have. And uh, now we're going to the car and see exactly in which position it will fit the uh, best. So after uh, fiddling with it for a while, I found that the best position would be like this here. So it will fit between the existing heat shield. I have here one more heat shield uh, and this one here. And it seems I would need some kind of bracket to catch it in the in the back here. Uh, I have a screw here that I can uh, fix it on. And in the back. I have a screw that is uh, holding my uh, washer fluid, but I will need a bracket to put it there. So this is the best position I, that it, it it's for my piece of of uh, heat shield. Then I will have to cut cut this uh, this part here, and maybe I get the one more bracket to hold it here, so it doesn't uh, vibrate. Uh, I will try to see what kind of bracket do I have and then we uh, we can see what we can we can we can do with that Just let me show you the the points of uh, I have one point down up here one point down here and one point in the back uh, that's holding my uh, washer fluid. Let's see if I can squeeze it in there. Yeah, it's that uh, in the back. Yeah. So I will have to find a way to catch it in these three uh, three points. This one, this one down there. This one here, this one here up, and the one in the behind uh, the washer. And I will need to use some kind of brackets for, uh, for this. So I found something that I can use. I will cut from this a few pieces that I will uh, I will use to mount it on the screws. I've cut a smaller piece just to see what and how and now I have to shape it and make it nice and I can see there is actually a hole here I can use that one 
and then I can cut this over or bend it. But I want to have some uh, air coming, so it also gets some cooling. Um, so we will see exactly. And then uh, I will not be able to leave it so high. I will have to cut it this way because the the um, hood will uh, will probably hit it. So first phase is to make it fit here, and then we can make some holes. I'm not sure with the whole process because uh, your uh, hitch can be different and you can find some other solution uh, to, to install it or mount it. It's up to you guys to, uh, to do the best uh, method for, for your application. In the back here, I guess I will put it like this and then also cut this piece here and, and uh, see how it uh, gets. So I will use a Dremel. And then we need to make a hole down here and then a hole up here. So first uh, I made uh, the shapes. I made the holes. One here. Uh, one down here and one in the back it will sit like this one part down here uh, here with, uh, with this one sit like this and one in the back uh, in order to make the position as good as possible we have to remove the screws some blind rivets uh, to catch it on place. Uh, now we we'll need a one more piece of, of, uh, of metal here to make it uh, fit. This is not nice but uh, it's something you want to do because uh, your ABS block is more expensive than a piece of, of uh, heat show. Okay so I've cut the other bracket is not as nice I want, as I wanted it to be, but it's functional. I'm gonna go here. First, I'm gonna put the screw. So this is my first attempt. And it's just to give you an idea about what and how. Everything seems to be okay. Now I'm going to, to get the blind rivets. It's pretty stable.
Now the only thing I want to uh, still adjust here, uh, I will use a screwdriver to push it a little bit away from the ABS block. So I'm going to use a big flat screwdriver just to put some distance between the block and the shield. Everything looks good. Well, it looks like the blind grids idea is not the best uh, because they will not be able to compress as much as I wanted. So I'm going to replace this one in the front with a screw. So at the end I had to put some uh, 6 mm screws here and now as you can see it's pretty stable, no vibration and we should be good to go. This is a small investment uh, in order to protect your ABS block. This is my first attempt. I will uh, try to do a second one uh, in the days that follow and then I will post an, uh, an update. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like my videos please like and subscribe uh, and hopefully soon we will come with uh, soon i will come with uh, some more uh, videos don't forget when you are finished with uh, doing whatever you do clean your workplace get uh, get a rag and then just just visually inspect everything and be sure you didn't forget any uh, wrenches or any screws or any keys inside uh, the engine room and uh, that should be it for today thanks for watching guys bye bye